All right, we're gonna go ahead and start cooking a fritada. And this is just um, chicken stew. Basically, that's what it is. Um, I started by putting some oil, cooking oil, and uh, proceeded to cook the garlic and onions. And I'm just going to go ahead and saute this until it's, uh, I want to say, transparent. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. Prior to doing this, I went ahead and boiled, pre-boiled, some chicken. And you could use, if you want, chicken filet or chicken breast or you could just use a cut up chicken and the reason why I pre-boil my chicken is so that it doesn't you know it doesn't get too oily all right so the heat is on medium high and I see that my garlic and onion is already cooked I'm gonna go ahead and follow it up with the tomatoes Until it's soft, and we're gonna add our chicken. Now, the chicken that I'm using is cut up chicken that I went ahead and pre-boiled and added some salt to the water. And this is just so that it cooks easily and so that it's not oily because it can get oily, especially if you cook it with the chicken skin. But if you're a health freak, you don't have to use, you know, the chicken with the skin. You could just do chicken breast or, um, you know, whichever part you like. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and saute this. And to this, we are adding some fish sauce. And the one I like to use is called Tiparos fish sauce. You can get this at your local Asian market. And you can put as much as you want. And this is just to add flavor to the chicken as we're cooking it. So that the flavor is not just in the sauce, but also in the chicken. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and you know, let this cook until the tomatoes are really nice and soft. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this and let it cook for another five minutes. All right, it's been like five minutes and our tomatoes are really nice and cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and add some chicken broth. And this is just some broth from when I boiled the chicken. You could add anywhere from half a cup to a whole cup depending on how much sauce you want on your fritada. All right, so, okay, we've added our broth, and after that, I'm going to add the carrots, because they take a while to cook. And I'm going to follow it with some cut up potatoes because these take a while to cook as well. And we'll just let that cook for another, I don't know, maybe seven minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and cover that and then I'll check back in seven minutes. All right, our chicken is almost ready. Our potatoes are done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some soy sauce. And you wanna add maybe a couple tablespoons of soy sauce. And this is just to make the color of our sauce a little bit darker because right now it looks orange and it kinda looks odd. So if you want your sauce a little bit darker, you can add a little bit more soy sauce, but that might make your sauce salty. So um, that is fine. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some, um, you know, water with cornstarch. This is maybe a 
couple of teaspoons of cornstarch to a third of a cup of water and this is just to thicken our sauce just so that it's nice and pretty okay so after you put it you just kind of want to go ahead and mix it and it will make your sauce nice and glossy if you don't have any cornstarch you could use some flour um, the only difference is if you use cornstarch your sauce is glossy versus using flour it's not as shiny alright so this is almost done I'm gonna add our last ingredient which is our green peppers our bell peppers okay now you could cook that well if you wanted to make it soft but I like it you know a little bit crunchy so I'm not gonna leave it in there for too long and then you're ready to add your pepper so I'm gonna go ahead and add some pepper just add some pepper to taste and that's pretty much it let's just mix this up and dinner is almost ready and you can go ahead and eat this with white rice steamed rice which is how we usually eat it if you find that your sauce is a little bit too thick like I think it's a little bit too thick right now I'm just gonna add some water just to thin it out and then you just want to go ahead and wait for that to boil and after that it's all set there you go and this was pretty easy to cook again it's chicken afritada and it's basically like a chicken stew nice to eat with steamed rice so go ahead and try this out and let me know how it turns out thanks for watching